Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on real life graphs. So in this video, we'll be looking at graphs that depict real world situations, and we'll specifically be looking at their gradients. Now in the graphs we'll see today, uh, all of the x-axes are at some form of time. So it might be seconds, it might be days, uh, but whenever you have a graph uh, with something plotted against time, uh, the gradient will always represent the rate of change. So let's look at these graphs A, B and C, starting with A. Uh, so we can say that the gradient of A, which we find uh, from taking the height by the width of any section of the graph, like that for instance, uh, so the gradient, or we can say M for short from y equals mx plus c, is the water flow uh, per second. Uh, so we can say that that is the flow rate. Uh, and that will be measured in litres per second. And then moving on to B. Uh, in B, we have the cost in pounds against the time in days. Uh, so M would be uh, the cost per day. Uh, and you could measure that in pounds uh, per day. So finally then, if we look at C, uh, the gradient this time is velocity divided by time. Now, if you know your formulas, acceleration is equal to velocity divided by time. Uh, so therefore, M, or the gradient, is acceleration. Now, the units for acceleration would be meters per second per second, or meters per second squared. So as we've said before, uh, the gradient represents a rate of change when we've got time on the x-axis. So we could say that in A, uh, the gradient represents the rate of change of water flow. In B, the gradient represents the rate of change of price. And in C, the gradient represents the rate of change of velocity, which is also known as acceleration.